City's under-18s progressed to the fifth round of the FA Youth Cup, but needed extra time to see off a spirited and determined Hereford United side that pushed them all the way to the final whistle. Things couldn't have got off to a better start for the Blues, as within 30 seconds of the kickoff, Brandon Barker found space down the right and squared for Thierry Ambrose to tap home for his 11th of an already productive season in front of goal. The visitors immediately went on the offensive and within minutes had a glorious chance of their own to even the contest. Angelino was adjudged to have tripped Jared Bowen inside the box and referee Dan Meeson pointed to the spot. Angus Gunn, though, got the faintest of touches to push Billy Murphy's penalty onto the post to preserve the lead. In what were blustery wet conditions, both sides tried their best to adapt to the worsening pitch, meaning crosses were the order of the night. Kian Bryan seeing this header go wide of the upright. England Youth International Gunn was then called into action again, this time going full stretch to tip over a Corey Williams free kick. City then began to up their game in the final 15 minutes of the first half and slowly started to find gaps in Hereford's defence. Jack Byrne firstly played through Angelino, whose shot was well saved, and the left back, who has been in inspirational form this season, found Barker just minutes later, but the winger blazed over from six yards. The second half began brightly with both sides having near misses. Firstly, Bowen saw his effort just fly past the post before Ambrose released speed merchant George Intima, but the winger sadly dragged his shot wide. Hereford's goalkeeper Kyle Moore was by far the visitors' man of the match, single-handedly keeping the Bulls in the game. And when Ambrose played through Barker, he yet again got down well to save. As the weather conditions deteriorated, so did City's chances of finishing the tie in normal time. As four minutes to the end, Will Haynes popped up at the back post to nod home a deserved equaliser for the Bulls. So an extra 30 minutes were needed to separate the sides, and wouldn't you know it, in the first minute of extra time, that man Ambrose was on hand to steer home Barker's cross in a carbon copy of the opening goal. Hereford nearly levelled almost immediately through the lively Bowen, but Gunn's unorthodox save kept the Blues ahead. And now a goal for all the football purists of you out there. After Moore foiled Barker, referee Meeson adjudged that Dylan Bonella had passed back to Moore and had no choice to award an indirect free kick. Substitute Bersan Salina took up the invitation and wrapped up the tie with his third goal in two games. A home tie against Tottenham or Fulham awaits the Young Blues, but credit has to be given to Hereford United, who were given a standing ovation at the final whistle. Final score from Ewan Fields, City 3, Hereford United 1. Full credit to Hereford, I think they came here um, it was like their cup final and it showed, I thought they battled really well. I just spoke to their coach and he should be really proud of his players. Um, I'm certainly proud of mine, we didn't play particularly well. Um, the ground staff here have done an excellent job in terms of getting the game on, we've had a lot of poor weather and I think, without being disrespectful to Hereford, I think it, it was a leveller, I thought we had numerous chances to score. I think when you look back on cup runs and you see teams that have won the FA Cup or the FA Youth Cup, they always have a game where they've had to grind a result out. You know, and I've, I've just said to the boys there, I'll give them the night off tonight, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, but I, you know, we've got to now improve on that, learn from it and we go again. Um, the next game, is, which is Sunderland in the league. So, again, we've now gone 12 games unbeaten. Uh, but full credit to Hereford, like you say. The, it just shows that if you're not clinical in, at, at one end um, and you give away you, you know, one defensive error, if you like, and they scored a goal. So that's the level that we're talking about. And like I say, it's a great, great learning curve for the boys.